Hey everyone, how you doing? Got a video for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video if you feel it necessary. Uh, but I want to talk to you about the ultimate Zippo insert attachment you're ever going to get. You might have seen it on my other channel. It is the Super Tank Oil Container by Diamond. Uh, this thing is amazing. It is a cool little piece of engineering. I absolutely love it. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you about how it works, everything you need to know, problems you might come across with it. And I'm also going to tell you about... Um, why I never tried to make one of my own. Uh, so let's just get into it. It comes in this little shell that it goes in, like part of a Zippo, uh, just to keep it while you're not using it. Uh, it'll come with instructions, a bag and a box, and it comes with this piece here. Uh, this piece here is you unscrew this. There's a screw there. You unscrew this whole piece, it comes out. And uh, hold on, let me grab my screwdriver. I didn't think this through. So this comes out, now for people who have seen this before, you still might want to watch the video because I go over a lot of information here you might not know. So that is the threaded piece on the inside, this goes in, this pin here, there is a there's holes, oh, I'm trying to get it to focus, there's holes in there that reach into the thing. And then it will sup up it will suck up fluid through those holes in there and it will go into this cotton and then the next way that works is after that what you got to do I'm just spinning the cotton hold on sorry I got to hold this close to my face <laughs> anyone who watches my videos knows I can't do anything if it's not close to my face Make sure it's all the way down so the holes reach you can see that the holes are at the bottom of the thread there and then so once you have that all filled and it's all closed it'll seep through but you still have to have some of the wick uh, and you want to have the wick off to the side to where this is going to be uh, kind of like a I would like circle it around the cotton I'm this cotton and there has to be some cotton in there and then you're probably wondering why that is so that is so that the wick will soak up uh, fluid and it doesn't leak anywhere uh, the cotton will soak up the extra and then it'll slide right into your insert and then you will put your flint wheel I mean your flint spring sorry uh, you just screw that in and that'll hold it in tight but like it is engineered to fit in there perfect like I can't believe how well this thing fits in here it is very nice and it fits in a zippo well with no issues either uh, I really do enjoy it so now that you know how it works and what it is and how to operate it, let's talk into some problems you might run into. Uh, you might run into some problems where this is actually leaking. Uh, I just wanted to show how it works. I'm going to take this out now. So you might come into problems where this is actually leaking uh, and it's coming out. Uh, so the first thing you might want to check is to make sure that your cotton and your wick is all right on the inside there. Uh, that you do have at least one ball and a good strand of the wick so that it is soaking up this fluid. Uh, and if it's leaking out of there, you, another thing you're going to want to have to check is did you screw this down tight enough? Uh, because if it's not all the way down, it will leak uh, pretty bad. So you want to make sure it's tight. Not too tight though. You don't want to over tighten. These are old threads and things like that like you could ruin the thread so always just uh, tighten with caution and just go till it's nice and snug that's all you need to do don't ever over tighten it and don't ever try to put uh, try to apply too much pressure so that could be a reason why it's leaking uh, I've never seen anybody have to change this felt pad here uh, like that's what it feels like it feels like a round felt pad like if I were if I needed to change that with something else I would want to use something that is uh, hard like this this isn't like a cotton ball that'll just strand away this is like a hard piece of felt I would honestly take the felt out of the bottom of a zippo and I would cut it in a perfect circle and then use that because it seems to be exactly what that is is like the bottom pad of felt so I would just replace it with exactly that uh, if you ever needed to replace that piece. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. It's pretty sturdy. It lasts a long time. Like, nothing bad. So you can see how long felts last in the bottom of Zippo. So, it's basically the same thing. But if you ever need to replace it, that's what I would do. 
So any of that would cause the leaky issues. Another thing that would cause leaky issues, a friend Larry Parson said he tried to use this in a 41 replica insert, but because of the way it fits in there, it actually leaks. And uh, he gets fluid all, it, the leaks fluid all out of here. So uh, a 41 insert is a no-go. He was trying to use it in his 41 silver. Uh, I will take his word for it. He had just bought this thing. He thought the problem was this, but then he said once he changed it to a regular insert, the problems just completely went away. So that is also something to look for. Now, another thing about this is pricing. Uh, these aren't made anymore. The company that exists that doesn't exist anymore that makes them. I wish another company would come out and make these metal sealed tanks. Like uh, they're just a cool little amazing thing to add to your to add to your Zippo. Uh, Larry, he bought his recently. When I first made my first video, they were selling for like over a hundred dollars. I seen some for one hundred and fifty. Uh, but Larry was able to get his for 80, uh, ordering on eBay and Amazon is down. Uh, you know, they've, they put out the numbers themselves. Uh, there's, you know, inflations and recessions and things going on. So, uh, it's not really a seller's market right now. Things are vintage stuff is selling for cheaper right now. Just so people can just get rid of it. People are desperate. So, uh, take a look for that stuff. He got a really good deal on his. I think he paid 70 bucks or something. Uh, I definitely pay that for this. Uh, his came in box. I w like if you can find one without the box as long as it just has this this stuff is all useless You don't need the box. You don't need this piece. You don't need anything as long as it has all this you're ready to rock This is all you need. So if you can get it for 20 30 bucks just like that pick it up, man It is a cool little piece of Engineering to have in your zippo. That's for sure. So now that brings me to my next point Does this thing actually work? How much fluid does it actually save? Uh, you know, I call it the ultimate, the ultimate Zippo insert. Uh, how well does it work? Uh, so I use this thing quite a few times. Uh, it works great. But the thing was, I found as an everyday user, like I light my Zippo, you know, 40, 50 times a day sometimes, sometimes more. Uh, it would still only last me as long as my regular Zippo did. And that's because it only holds so much fluid. Uh, you notice a Zippo fuel canister. I got one right here. Like, I think a Zippo fuel canister holds more fluid, and it takes one of these to fill up your entire Zippo. So, I do believe that there's only enough, this only holds enough fluid to last your Zippo a certain amount of lights, right? So, uh, this would last me a week and a half. That's exactly what my Zippo lasts. My Zippo even lasts that in the summer here in Canada when it's like 30-some degrees every day. I still get a week and a half out of my Zippo. So... As far as that goes, for an everyday user, it's going to last. But here's the one thing I noticed. This is this is the next segment is uh, how long does it last not using it, right? Like uh, for a non for a non everyday user, for someone who just wanted to carry this in their pocket for fuel efficiency, so they didn't have to fill their Zippo all the time. Uh, now, when you start talking in those standards, this thing actually excels quite a bit. You could use this fairly well. Uh, if you're not using this, it's gonna last quite a long time, actually. Uh, if you're just, and now if you're standing your Zippo up and it's just standing there up, uh, you're gonna go to light it and it's not gonna work because fluid is not getting uh, through the threads and soaked up into this felt. Everything will dry up here. This will be full of fluid, but your Zippo won't work, right? Because everything's dry in there. It's been sitting for so long. And you'll think that this is out of fluid is what happened. That's actually not what happened. What happened was, uh, just all the cotton inside the insert here and the wick dried up because it's been standing up. So uh, if you were to carry this where you would put it in your pocket and it'd be splashing around, you could say, uh, then you can ex you can expect to not have to fill it for like three weeks. You can probably go three weeks of not using it, just carrying it around and it works whenever you need it. Uh, that's, that's like I said, that's the research I had found using it. So uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good. And like I said, if you were going to leave it standing up for a long time, the fluid would stay in there. When you wanted to use it, all you would have to do is just shake it. That's it. You would just have to shake it. So if you're going to leave it standing there for a long time and you go to light it and it's not lighting, you just shake it up for a while, leave it laying on its side, shake it up, it will light right up. Uh, so that's basically my full review of this thing. Uh, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth a try. Uh, this isn't even mine. I have to send it back to my buddy Ryan in BC. He lent it to me. Uh, that's why I'm making the video too. Uh, it's not going to be my possession anymore. I wanted to get one last good video of this cool little item that I'll never see again. So uh, everyone take care. Let me know what you thought in the 
comments below and I'll see you in the next one.